Ahoy, survivors! It's hard to notice the passage of time when you're driving a roaring death machine. That's okay. You have enough on your platter already, after all. With all that surviving and stuff. So, just in case you missed it, here we are. 2018 is almost over. Ah, so many memories. So much junk metal crushed under your wheels. So much chaos, destruction, and madness. Beautiful. Well, slow down for a bit, Ryder. Sit with us. Take a look back at what transpired in the waste this year. At the start of the year, fire starters with their lighters in tow emerged on the horizon. They received a suitable warm welcome. Fun shared is fun multiplied. Who cares if your new hangar mate is an unhinged fanatic? Exactly, no one cares. Especially if this crazed lunatic brings a whole freight train worth of new toys with him. Shiv, Bat, Junk Bow and Skinner Harpoon. Take your pick, fellas. And that's not mentioning some demonic stickers and the awesomest pack. But that was only the first wave of the fire starters. Just a taste, scattered emissaries. In February, they opened their gates to everyone who reached rank 10 of reputation with the lunatics. The fire starters also brought their faction's co driver, Misty, and a truly mind boggling amount of car parts. The Werewolf Cabin, Bigfoot Wheels, the glorious Meat Grinder Auger. The Phoenix Crossbow, the Ashbringer Catapult, the Fortune Mine Layer, the legendary Draco Flamethrower, and the literally mind-blowing Oppressor Engine. The warmth, the sheer heat of the fire starters melted our hearts. We suddenly came to love every single living being so much that on Valentine's Day, we decided to create the cutest pack in the game, the Burning Heart. It's not all rust, grit, and cruelty around here, you know. To top that off, we introduced a new game mode. Face-off for those who wanted to express their romantic feelings with bullets and rams, you know. In March, with the first signs of spring, we took a little breather. You know, uh, an impromptu vacation from all that fire starter business to gather our thoughts and to tinker with the balance a bit. We ironed out a ton of errors and changed the list of recipes available at Workbench. Moreover, every survivor received their own dossier, and the daily challenges interface got much more streamlined. Also, to make sure you didn't get bored, a new predator got loose in the wastes. The Boar Armored Car, capable of literally tearing its enemies apart upon collision. We continued to work on raids to make them more interesting and, of course, profitable. You know, if you're gonna do something, you'd better do it with dedication, like a carpet bombing. So we bit the bullet and completely swapped all raids for the new ones. Cargo race, defense, invasion, heist, siege and convoy. We worked hard on those and we're glad you appreciated the fruits of our labor and like a cherry on top, Good old Sector EX made a glorious comeback in a slightly updated day variant. Majestic. Then April came. It was time to finally wake up to live again, shrug off the remaining tiny shards of ice and fire up the engines, just in time for revamp boosters. It's no rest for the wicked at Blood Rocks. Dozens of buildings, mountains of twisted decaying steel, lifeless husks of expired mechanisms. Comfy? You bet. Also, it became much more cheerful in the garage. The knights have returned. Martin and his boys, to everyone's unbridled joy, brought some new toys. Rare and epic guns, for example, the M37 Piercer, the Fafnir, the Prometheus 5, the Aspect, the Cyclone, and many, many more. May was truly important for Crossout. The game continued its journey around the world and officially released in Taiwan. Like we said, 
the more the merrier. Madness and Twisted Steel unite the nations. To make matters even better, everybody got a chance to acquire the unique Beta Armored Car and get a taste of the lawless life of a mysterious hired gun, Wolfhound. There's no place for cheaters in the waste, so we implemented a new anti-cheat system. And while we're at it, slightly upgraded the gallery to make it easier to navigate. Added the option of searching by specific parts. What? Apocalypse is grim and all, but that's not a good reason to live like a savage, you know. Phew. June was jam-packed with stuff to work on. Where to begin? Hmm. Ah, yes. In June, we celebrated one year anniversary of Crossout's wide release on PC, PS4, and Xbox. Holidays without any presents are just sad, so we were happy to give away goodies, unique stickers and fireworks. We also recorded new sounds for some engines and, knowing you'd be curious to take a peek at what's in store, we let you do exactly that. Engineering is a complicated thing, especially sound engineering. At the same time, the strange pandemic swept through the wastes. The soccer pandemic. The steel championship. No crazed trigger happy lone wolves. No killing. Only peace, friendship and teamwork. Very huge, all of it. A huge field. A huge ball scrapped together from steel beams and other kinds of junk. This rush of excitement, this intensity of struggle, just like in the old world. June came to an end with a bang. We opened the gates to a new map, Nameless Tower. The location soon became one of the most memorable in the whole game. Does it remind you of something, eh? Something from the past of this world? Some city? No, we give up. Nothing comes to mind. We spent July and August working on crucial parts of the game. Once again, we worked on the balance, ironed out errors and got rid of a few bugs. While doing it, we never forgot about console players. In July, we also worked on improving interface and controls for console versions. And, phew, we managed to complete the tasks by August. In other words, it doesn't matter what you play on. We love all of you riders equally. Suddenly, it was September already. What? In September, we revamped the daily quest system, which replaced the seasons. Now, every player receives multiple quests that he can complete this day. Oh, and the Night Riders event allowed you to create some unbelievable parts and items that change the appearance of your vehicles. And, as a small bonus, you could even get your own coat of arms. After all, what is a night without one, right? The spookiest month of the year brought some sweet deals and exciting events. The Halloween of the Wastes is even scarier than its old world precursor. During the holiday witch hunt event, riders spooked each other with some kind of scary decor stuff. Trick or trick. <clears throat> Trick of fuel. Of course, it's difficult to play dress up without a proper dressing room, so we created one in the shop. And just to be extra tidy, we squashed a couple of bugs and updated some models for machine guns and shotguns. So, in short, this year's survivors gained access to 12 new game modes, including the ever popular Battle Royale and also the big story mode, the adventure. Something strange is happening in the wastes. Stranger than usual, we mean. Whole outposts are going mad, and not in a good way. People just start attacking each other over nothing. The ones who survive run away to roam the wastes in search of food without a single memory to explain what happened. You went in to investigate, uncovered the secrets of the wastes and most importantly, found out who was to blame and shaped the future of the world. Furthermore, in 2018, a whole new faction emerged from the wastes, bringing new mechanics and hundreds of parts 
for your armored cars. You, in return, created thousands of original cars and tailored to a wide array of play styles. But most important of all, this year, you riders were with us through thick and thin. Thank you. It'll only get crazier in the future. Happy holidays, you absolute madman.